Boys and girls, pimps and players of all ages, we'd like to welcome the one and only Trailer Park Boys. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Film Focus. Trailer Park Boys was an amazingly controversial show when it became a hit, and we've got a few secrets to reveal that you probably don't know about. We're down to reveal the untold truth of the Trailer Park Boys and let you in on plenty of issues that the entire team would probably like to keep under wraps for the sake of PR. Hey. They're always in character. It's a pretty open secret that the main characters on the show try to keep in character when they go out in public, and it's not strange to see Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles dressed up like their characters, with Julian sporting a drink even when he's in public. We're sure he's not walking around with booze when he's not in a bar, but he definitely makes his prop look the part. Bubbles seems to be a little less inclined to make public appearances outside of his regular bars, and he opened up a club in Halifax that sucked up a lot of his time after the show really took off. The guys decided to pull this stunt because they figured they liked their characters and strutting about while dressed up like them was a great way to get some free publicity and have some fun while they were at it. They do get a lot of attention while they're in the public eye, and they don't always appreciate it, but we have to say that they own it for the most part, unless their fans get overly aggressive or annoying. The locals don't pay them all that much mind these days because they're fairly used to it, but their stomping ground of Halifax, Nova Scotia is a huge college town, and the Trailer Park Boys have no shortage of adoring young adults to rub their egos and ask for autographs during a night out on the town. Number 9. Minimum Wage Woes Corey and Trevor are the butt of every joke on the show, and the rest of the guys treat them like absolute dirt, using them to do their dirty work every chance they get. What you probably don't know is that the guys who play Corey and Trevor routinely get screwed over by the rest of the cast, even in real life, and that includes getting paid minimum wage throughout Trailer Park Boy's entire run, despite the fact that the show did very well for itself and the producers were definitely able to pay them a fair wage without taking a hit. The pair were okay with taking a pay cut for the sake of regular work and were really happy to be a part of the show, up until the point where it became clear that they were being used in a big way. They also complained about having to work in deplorable conditions that made them feel unsafe much of the time. When they finally demanded that they be respected as actual people, producers told Corey and Trevor to take a hike, and we bet they tried to send them on a smoke run too. Michael Jackson, who played Trevor, said he got tired of people playing as actors in commercials making more money than he did on a hit TV show, and he says that producers repeatedly lied to him about how much everyone else was getting paid to try and make him more accepting of his measly paycheck. It seems that most characters also got paid very little money for their time, but most were happy to take the hit, at least for a little while, because they believed in what they were doing on the show. We don't think that it would be too much to ask for a little raise after all the time on the show, and Jackson ended up walking and never looking back. He hasn't become a household name just yet, but at least he can be content knowing that he stood up for himself and didn't let the show's producers push him around. Number 8. Bubbles is a creep. Bubbles is a pretty creepy character for the most part, and if we ran into him in real life, we'd be more than a little weirded out by him. It seems like the actor who plays Bubbles is also a huge creep, and he's constantly making inappropriate advances on women who want nothing to do with him, sometimes getting far too aggressive when he's inevitably shot down. He also has a bit of a cocaine problem, and that came to a head when he opened up his own nightclub in Halifax and began preying on all of his customers, hoping to catch a glimpse of the trailer park boys while they partied up. He left a bad taste in plenty of people's mouths for a long time, and his shady way of doing things finally caught up to him when he was finally charged with domestic assault and battery against a woman in a Los Angeles hotel. The police were called when people in neighboring rooms heard the two arguing and worried about the woman's safety. The charges against Bubbles, who's played by actor Mike Smith, were later dropped, but he's got a lot more people who could probably take him down if they wanted to. The incident in LA was what prompted the actor who played Lucy to leave the show for good, saying that she couldn't work alongside people who were no to be abusive towards women. Accounts suggest that she later recanted this point of view, saying that she was still good friends with everyone on set, but we're sure she was just playing nice at that point and didn't want to step on toes any further. The fact that she never ended up back on the show despite producers asking her to forgive and forget their differences says a lot as far as we're concerned, and we're convinced that Lucy is no more because Bubbles just couldn't be trusted to not get overly handsy again. Number 7. Cart Boy 
Mike Smith was never supposed to be a main character on the show and was actually a part of the crew when the show first kicked into high gear before he managed to get his big break. He had a character that he liked to call Cartboy and he used to pull it out to help make the rest of the team laugh at his antics between filming their scenes. He was friends with Mike Clattenburg who directed Trailer Park Boys and when Clattenburg realized that people on set really loved his Cartboy impressions, he decided it was time to write his buddy in and help make him a star. Fans quickly warmed up to Cartboy and he was recast as Bubbles, making his way from being a bit character to a main protagonist in no time at all. He behaved pretty outrageously, and every time he upped the ante, people liked him more and more, so his appearances ended up being a huge boon for everyone involved. He hasn't been able to shake the character and hasn't done much of anything else since he assumed the role, showing up in character for all sorts of gigs, including Guns N' Roses concerts, a couple of country music videos, In Snow's legal music video, and a few other public appearances. He even managed to get a gig performing on stage with Rush during one of their shows, and despite the fact that he's a huge creep, he's really done very well for himself as Bubbles. Number 6. Getting High the show features a ton of weed and weed smoking, but production isn't allowed to film any actual weed being moved or smoked in any of their episodes. While the show does everything it can to look good, most of the clouds of smoke we see are just from hand-rolled cigarettes and herbal substitutes made to look like their joints. That doesn't stop the actors from getting seriously baked in between filming scenes, and we're pretty sure they all smoke a lot when they're hanging out in between takes. Plenty of people who have showed up to watch live tapings of the show say that the guys definitely reek of weed when they walk out on set, and plenty more more have said that they've smoked a joint or two with the infamous characters. They do try and keep things on the down low as much as possible, but they can't totally sweep these things under the rug. The show also uses fake plants when it shows weed trees on set, and we have to say that they really do look quite real to us. Number 5. Mr. Leahy Mr. Leahy has a lot of problems on the show, and he managed to graduate from a drinking problem to a cocaine problem while he was a character on the show. What you probably don't know is that while the actor who plays Leahy does a great job at playing a drunken waste of space, he's actually very straight-laced in real life, which is something we can't really say for the rest of the actors in the show. He's played by John Dunsworth, who's a pretty big name in TV, and he's more well-known than the rest of the team for the most part. Dunsworth doesn't have a drinking problem and doesn't do drugs in real life, being more of a family man than someone with an abundance of problems, which is what his character has in spades. Number 4. Greasy Burgers Randy is well known on the show for being a huge fan of his greasy burgers, and he's constantly handing them out like they're candy every chance he gets. It seems that while the recipe is a closely guarded secret, it's not a recipe that the show has any rights to, as all of the burgers featured on the show are just repackaged McDonald's hamburgers and nothing more. McDonald's probably doesn't want people to know that the show uses their burgers so often because we expect they'd assume it's bad publicity. We think that's a good call, because Trailer Park Boys is so abrasive that they'd take a huge PR hit if they went out of their way to show their support. Number 3. Alexander Keith's won't endorse the show. The show's very rough around the edges, and they push things to a point where not even a beer company was willing to endorse the show in any way. Alexander Keith's is a brewing company that's based out of Halifax, Nova Scotia, and you can see their bottles in almost every single scene, especially in the earlier seasons of the show. The thing is, all the bottles had to be blurred out because the company didn't want their name to have anything to do with the show. The team behind Trailer Park Boys ended up phasing out blurring out their beer bottles in every scene because it was just too much work, and they tried to feature more generic bottles of booze so they could avoid the added hassle. Number 2. Rough On-Set Conditions It wasn't just Corey and Trevor who ended up getting pissed off about the conditions that actors had to put up with on set, and plenty of people have walked because they couldn't stand the filth or the bullying that the stars and producers tossed out to anyone who didn't completely agree with them or how they did things. It seems like most of the people involved with production didn't really know what they were doing, and they dropped the ball in plenty of ways. Not treating staff with respect isn't the best way to do business, and the show ended up fizzling out bit by bit as people walked away and refused to put up with the miserable working conditions any longer. Number 1. They Built a Fake Trailer Park when the show first began, Trailer Park Boys was actually filmed at a local trailer park and kept things true to life. That didn't end up being a thing for too long, however, and people who lived in the park made a point of continually complaining about the show was disruptive to their lives and causing unnecessary trouble, along with dumping trash all over the place. The show then had to move because they didn't want to deal with the added pressure of continuing to film in a trailer park. 
They couldn't find anywhere that really fit the bill, so they decided to build their own trailer park set so they could perfectly capture the vibe. That means that while things look okay, the show lost a bit of its charm, and the sets in later seasons tend to look a little thrown together and not nearly as genuine as the early seasons were. Hey, to the video, be sure to enter our brand new giveaway. We'll be giving away any of these items. It's your choice. To enter the giveaway, leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, turn on notifications, and most importantly, watch the whole video. It's that simple.